Appalachian Wireless is Appalachian Advantage. Unlimited text, talk, and two gigs of data for as low as $45 a month. Or if you like, get five lines on eight gigs of data for just $145 a month. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. But the real question that people want to know for me is what does that mean for Kentucky Power? What does that mean for, you know, coal in general in the area? That is the number one question that has been asked of Kentucky Power President Matthew Satterwhite following Monday's announcement by EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt that the EPA is going to scrap the Clean Power Plan. I look at the uh, announcement to end the Clean Power Plan as sort of putting a, sort of putting a sword in the ground and the president saying no more, you know. The, stop the insanity. We've had so many rules that have just crippled coal going forward. But I don't want to minimize how important it is that the president and Administrator Pruitt came out and said, we're not doing the clean power plan. Because that was the next round. It was sort of the coal's down, let's kick them while they're down. But Setter Watt says even though the news about scrapping the clean power plan is good, it didn't reverse any of the EPA regulations that came before it that were also attacking the coal industry. And so all these rules came out really saying you shouldn't be using coal trying to uh, frustrate the use of coal, when at the same time, uh, the price of natural gas was going lower and lower and lower. He says Kentucky Power's decision to begin using more natural gas to produce electricity created a big misconception. A lot of people, as you said before, they think Kentucky Power, oh, look, you changed something to gas, so you hate coal. That being said, Kentucky Power is still 80% coal. People don't realize that because the Louisa plant was converted to natural gas. But that's just part of our portfolio. We still use a lot of coal up in our Mitchell plant in West Virginia that we supply our Eastern Kentucky footprint with. And we, use, we try to use as much Eastern Kentucky coal as we can in that plant as well. Tomorrow, we will continue our conversation with Matthew Satterwhite and we'll look at Kentucky Power's commitment to economic development and how he hopes it will help the economy rebound. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.